I'm going to demonstrate how to use an interactive simulation that models a Carnot cycle for an ideal gas. And the simulation is located at this link on the Learn Chemie site. And here is a snapshot of the simulation. We can change the temperatures of the hot and cold reservoirs, and we can change the two volume limits, as well as the heat capacity of the gas, the ideal gas. This is shown as a heat engine. Also can be run as a heat pump. For a heat engine, we're adding heat at high temperature, that's shown here, and releasing heat at lower temperature and getting work out. You know, efficiency is how much work we get out, absolute value divided by the heat added. And the two blue lines correspond to the adiabatic steps. And then this red line is the heat added corresponding to here. And the green line is the heat removed. These are the green and red are both isothermal steps. So let's pause and then look at the actual simulation. So here for the simulation, as we, for example, raise the high temperature reservoir, you'll notice the efficiency is increasing. We're converting a larger fraction, the heat added to work. If we raise the temperature, low temperature reservoir, however, the efficiency decreases. The pressure volume diagram is shown here. The temperature entropy diagram is shown here, the two adiabatic steps, they're reversible adiabatics, no entropy change. Now the system, let's look at the pressure volume diagram, can also be run as a heat pump, which means we're running in the opposite direction. Now we're putting in work and getting out heat and we calculate a coefficient of performance. The simulation has details that show the equations used to generate these curves. And the idea, of course, of a Carnot cycle is this the best we can do, transferring heat from a high temperature to a low temperature reservoir and getting work out, or in this case for heat pump, putting work in and transferring the maximum heat from low temperature reservoir.